I'm on location in Washington, D.C. at the amazing Museum of the Bible, showcasing rare artifacts spanning 3,500 years of history. The museum offers visitors a unique experience with the Bible and its ongoing impact around the world. Open for nearly two years, the museum is completely state-of-the-art, a must-see for history buffs, museum goers, well, everyone. And joining me this morning is CEO Ken McKenzie. Good morning. Good morning, Olga. Thanks for having us. Oh, glad you're here. I gotta tell you, I've seen a lot already. Uh, breathtaking, mm -hmm. uh, amazing, just truly something for everyone here, right? There really is. So the mission of the Museum of the Bible is to invite everyone to engage with the Bible. And that's what we're trying to do, is to invite all people to engage with the Bible. It isn't uh, restricted to anybody's personal faith background. Uh, it's to come and experience what we think is one of the most influential, most controversial, most discussed, definitely most printed books of all time. There's 430,000 square feet of museum. We have three floors that are permanent exhibits, and then we have two additional floors that are temporary exhibits. We have exhibits from the uh, Israeli Antiquity Authority. The Vatican Library has an exhibit here. Uh, we have the world's longest illustrated book. It's called the Viedman Bible. It's just under a mile long. Wow. So it's fun to have all that kind of stuff here. There's a ton of variety. And that's one of the things that we want, we want to highlight is the impact the Bible's had. And on this floor, this is the second floor of six floors at the museum, uh, you start on the impact in the Americas. And then as you come around the corner, we talk about the impact the Bible has had on science, impact it's had on medicine, uh, arts, mm -hmm. theater, music. Uh, it's just a fascinating overview of how the Bible has been influential in so many different places. One of the things that we wanted to do is to create the most uh, innovative and technologically advanced museum. We think we're reaching the heartstrings of a lot of people. I actually went into the Joshua recording and then it asked me to just record myself as to my impressions of the Bible and my impact. Mm -hmm. And that was really nice for me because it was just my version as opposed to everybody else's. Yes. And what I'm trying to say there is that it's truly, really something for everyone, regardless of your religion. It's to come and look at what the Bible's impact has been, where it came from, and then understand the stories and, and see why it's important in the culture in which we live. But you don't have to have a faith to come. And we're not going to try to convince you of anybody's faith while you're here. The idea is to come in and engage with the Bible and see what it means to you. I'm joined now by Communications Director Heather Sermo. I gotta tell you, I've been here just a short while. It has been fascinating, starting with Washington Revelations. I mean, the feeling was just amazing. You, you feel like you're flying. It's an amazing ride. It's very unique. It's for the whole family, and you go over Washington, D.C., and you see where the Bible is quoted on a lot of these familiar buildings. Which a lot of people don't even notice until they go in there. They don't. You can go out as a family and find these for yourself. It like was a scavenger lot of hunt. fun. And it's nice because even the children are like, wow, I didn't realize that. And then you go out after and you find those quotes. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me some of their must-sees that you really think everybody has to witness. Sure, just to give you an idea of just how big this place is, it would take nine eight-hour days to see and do oh, everything, all right? But I think some of the must-sees are definitely Washington Revelations, the Hebrew walkthrough Bible experience, which is a 30-minute um, immersive experience where you go room to room and kind of get the story of the Hebrew Bible is something you really have to see. And then also, I think, uh, seeing the artifacts on the fourth floor and getting a sense of the history of the Bible. Um, and even if you're not into artifacts, there are different ways to engage with them. This is a world-class museum, very high-tech. You can actually get a digital guide and walk around and, and interact interact really in depth with the exhibits, but also you can have touch tables where you can learn, uh, you can read, you can actually walk around with uh, headphones and, and go on a tour. So there really is something for everyone in every different um, learner style. And there's a children's area too, so they can take a break and go and play on these, uh, these rides that are, that are Bible themed. The point is we want everybody, regardless of your knowledge level of the Bible, to learn something new. This book is the best-selling book of all time and it's the most controversial book of all time. I wonder why that is and explore for yourself. Ken, 
as the leader, as the CEO of the Museum of the Bible, uh, what's your vision, your hope for its success in the future? For the building itself, our vision is to have as many people as possible come and experience it. And then once they've experienced it, then to bring other people and to become involved in what the Museum of the Bible is all about. So we want to be able to offer all of our curriculum, all of our artifacts online so that people can enrich their own beliefs, debate, and investigate themselves as to what the Bible means. So the exhibits are very impressive. Uh, I love how interactive they are. You can get into the story. Old Testament, New Testament, I'm impressed by that. I've always known the Bible and you know what it is and who's involved in it and who's all part of the Bible, but seeing it and how it can be a part of your everyday life through culture, through fashion, through music, and through everything that the Museum of the Bible is showing us, it's just a really cool interactive experience that the kids can get involved in. This was truly an amazing experience for me, and if you'd like to experience the Museum of the Bible, check out the website, museumofthebible.org. Plan your visit, it's a must see. Or check out our website, thebalancingact.com.